going to get the truth out of Soma. He's keeping something. I can smell it. Do what you gotta do, I suppose. I didn't know what's happening. I don't need to wait until the sun goes down. Mm. Don't like being in the night. You wanna go to the roof and talk about yesterday? Well, the other day. Yeah. Be good to actually have a productive conversation. Hmm? Maybe we should include him in this. I think he'll want to know who is there. All right. Imagine he finds out not from us. Let's see if he even wants to talk first. <clears throat> Got a second? What do you need? It's not good news, but it's news. I'd be more concerned if it was. Don't hold your breath just yet. I had a job um, a couple nights ago at the embassy. Manning the door, checking people's papers, making sure everyone was accounted for, for whatever party they were throwing, imperial. There were nobles. There were barons there. Majors. There was also a slave. Redhead. Green Where are we going, Quinn? Hmm. Tori informed me by accident. Wonder how Torty found out. Hmm. She'll get hers in her own time. About that. It's very, um, funny how oh, that specific woman was at the embassy that almost got blown the fuck up. No doubt, being a conniving, evil, manipulative spy as before. So you agree that she's more than just a slave again, right? I First agree a slave to a man a in Ireland. On. Um, I understand yes, your anger, Sarah. but we could use her against them. I don't use my enemies. I kill my enemies. She almost got myself and her skull killed, and our only lead to the air. I had servants of Ash and Oleander ambush us. The only reason you ran into us at Oakenbrook was sheer luck. If I cross paths with that woman, I will kill her for her crime. Are you ready to kill Cade as well? Yes. Any further questions? No. Sorry for not telling you sooner. I'm sure you had your reasons, Seraphat. I bear you no ill will. Please do not let me stop you both from whatever it is you have planned.
Well, if she dies, she dies. I know what side I'm on. I'm going to make that mistake twice. That went quite south. I did not expect him to already know. Mm. Well, Fucking torty. Just goes to show if you want to keep a secret, don't tell anyone. Right. But how did she know? Bezram. Kate told Bezram. Fucking imbecile. Yeah, I know. I, uh, need to catch up with someone. Do your thing. I'll find you later, when the sun's down. Sure thing. Make sure to take a nap, if you have time. <laughs> Gotta take it. Gotta take it. Checkend. <laughs> gotta take a second, chat. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> I'm back, boys. Or am I even here? I'm not needed. I shriek. Zoning up. Um, are you guys alright? You're in there for a while and we saw Miss Torty. 
Come out and don't worry. Yeah, it's okay. Did Hopper swing by and pick up his uh, charcoal yet, or? Not, uh, not yet. This is um, iron from um, uh, who works with yes. Mr. Vezrin Mir. Oh. Um, I know the one. Yeah. Morgul. Mix up his names, Morgul. How much <sighs> is this iron ore? Uh, he just said a delivery. I didn't tell me how much. I can That's go ask helpful. if you want me to. Please do. I'm going to see if I can find uh, Hopper and let him know this charcoal's been done. Okay. Oh, do you want me to make more charcoal? No, we're, we're good for now, I think. Okay. Could you do me a favor? Look at that barrel. Does that barrel look weird to you, too? That man's familiar. Uh, sir. It's quite close. It's uh, where you serve in the war. I don't know. Like, what kind of shrieking? You said there's claw marks at night near your skull? Yeah, I've seen some. Okay. Hopper. I've got your charcoal if you haven't oh, grabbed I'm it already. I, I, I tried to, but there was nobody around. Everybody was busy. Come on, I'll, uh... Grab it for you. Sorry, I got caught up in a meeting. No, that's fine. <laughs> I'd come across <laughs> Mr. Tang was there and he said you're busy. Fair enough. I pray that the cats or whatever the beasts are don't come knocking at your door. It'd be the worst. I really hope not. I am used to They have various designs to kind of cut through it so that whoever was working on armor. Here it is. Your charcoal. Thank you very much, sir. a nice big sack for you. Is that all four or two? All four. Thank you very much for doing that. Of course. I do really appreciate it. Use it well. Drag this back with me. I will do. There will be plenty of sweet rolls with this. For all that I've had I've seen their uh, their embassy, I had no idea. Yeah, I it, it was awful. Terrorists and and all kinds. I I don't know how <coughs> and, and seeing the way you came out of it, the most I can say. So strange. <laughs> oh, here she comes. There she <laughs> Sorry, I saw you running from all the way down that way towards me. <laughs> <laughs> Just one moment, I need to give Miss uh, Lottie something. Yeah, quick. sure. <laughs> uh, Shriek, uh, ten iron ore. Understood it. Have we paid it? He did drop it off, I assumed I his own did. Uh, nope, that's not it. 
That's not what I want to happen. Go Let me away. Let me give this to Mr. <laughs> Shit, I'm only... Until I, I start actually doing things around here, you haven't told me how much we either pay or do other things. If she shows up again, asking for money, what do you do? Say no and tell him to go talk to Tazim. Yeah, I would have also accepted... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Uh, alright. Understood. What do you do here? Whatever he tells me. Um, that that was that what you wanted want from him? Is that the right answer? Yeah, close enough. Yeah. Oh. Sure, okay. You want to see a you want to see a trick, actually? Oh, Please don't. Oh, no, I not know again. I know it's about that. Alright, I'm ready. Go ahead. Oh. It's uncontrollable. Is that what happens when someone's been made your bitch? I guess. <laughs> That's so much worse! Oh, Ocean's not here. I was gonna do the same thing. That, you should try, like honestly. Next time bitch. you see him, if he doesn't do it, just yeah. get closer and closer and closer, and eventually they will. Yeah, I'm just gonna start clapping. Alright, I will. That's try, what I'm gonna do. Try, try this one. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> so I can do it, yay! Oh, I thought he was gonna give you coin. That would have been better. That's the better trick to get it. Just no. reach out like that and then... Copper. Have him put a let's, copper Let's in. try. <laughs> I don't have money. You're telling me you don't have <laughs> copper on you, Severick? Then what's this behind your ear? <laughs> oh! What are you keeping that there for? There you go, hang on to that. Thank you, Mr. Shriek. Did you just give him a copper? Yeah. Well, no, he fa I found it behind his ear. It's his. Mm. Wink. <laughs> I... <laughs> There's a reason I don't come to the forge ever. Why? What is that? What's wrong with this? <laughs> You think there's something wrong and fucked up about this, really? You're telling me there's something terribly weird and fucked up about it? Is that what you're saying? A little bit, yeah. What's fucked up about this? What's fucked up about this? But tell me what's fucked up about this. I <laughs> see. Yeah, okay. I mean, you might be able to make One coin moment. off of it, actually. Well, yeah, if I keep finding <laughs> coin behind his ear, yeah. Get rid of one of these. Just... Does it work when other people do it? I don't know, try. No, it's only him for some reason. I don't know. Other people have tried. <laughs> Trust me, others have tried. It only works when he... Uh, do, we'll do it together. We'll do it together. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> You can dance really well. I'm surprised you ain't working at the, um... That's what she takes brothel. out of that. <laughs> not the, not the <laughs> fucked up arrangement we have here. The, the, the weird, <laughs> fucking weird relationship. You don't think that's weird? Sit! She just took the fucking sit! <laughs> it's fucked up. How much did you pay for it? Uh, Nothing. Oh God, I can't do it. We'll see anything. <laughs> okay, I'm done here. I don't understand it. <laughs> That's a cheap slave. <laughs> oh I don't God. want it. He's not a slave. He can do what he wants. It's almost as if they knew, the... <laughs> it's it's almost as if they knew certain things would make that even more fucked up. Yeah, this is pretty fucked up arrangement. I don't know why you you put up with it. Honestly, you shouldn't. You need to stand up for yourself more. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'll I'll say sit and you say no. Okay? <laughs> sit. Uh, no, Severick. <laughs> You're a free man. You don't need to <laughs> Try it again. I say sit and you go no. Okay? 
living. Sit. All right, I'll try. Uh, 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 no. Hey! Very good. Well done. Well done, Severick. Are you trying to dog? No, I'm trying to teach him not to be so obedient, which is fucking weird when you think about it. You're your own person. I mean, most people die to have a slave like that. He's not a slave. I'm a free hobbit, I think. He's a free hobbit. He's 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 a free elf. He can run off. Is what you train him to say? It's impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> but then again, oh well. Sit. I was thinking of getting into slaves. No, okay. no. <laughs> I know. I hear there's an auction in a couple days about one. Some new ones came in. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you don't need to put up with my I shit. You really don't. They see me. I think I'm hiring one to watch my warehouse so people stop breaking and stealing my stuff. People are stealing your shit? I mean, there's break ins happening. I've talked to a couple other merchants and stuff. Ugh. The worst. You wouldn't have to know anything about that, would you? Guards, I know, are attempting to help, but. Yeah, uh, almost to sit up here. I did hear some weird noises outside last night. That wasn't to see them hammering away at the forge. Oh, huh. what kind of weird noises? It will help me with the repairs. Mm. Oh, it sounded like an animal. It's an animal. Might as well be used for something to defend. Well, I don't know. Like a monkey. You didn't. At least it, I'm. I. No, it kind of like you know how Tazim works out here at night, and you just hear constant <clears throat> like yes. the tang tang of no. the damvil. Yes. Luck to you if but, you well, I heard like you wish you luck if you go these weird beast-like noises. I hope to get one for myself. I mean, I don't hear like crashing or things. It's just these uh, weird animalistic sleep. noises. He's not my sleep. That's kind of fucking terrifying, actually. I actually read yeah. a story recently about a guy <clears throat> who got home late from work because he was working, you know, like throughout the night and he got home at like 3 a.m. or something like that. Yeah. And <clears throat> he goes into his door, he goes into his house, opens the door and he has a little bell that acts like a s security system. So he opens the door and the bell goes, yeah. ding, ding, so that he knows whenever someone opens his front door, ding, ding, he closes the door, he locks it. Then he goes into his kitchen. He sits down and he starts to make himself some food. <coughs> Haven't even gotten so to a scary bit yet. Just got caught up by water. Gross. Anyway, so he's in the kitchen making himself some food, and it's raining. It's a pretty, it's a pretty raining night, right? And he's sitting there in his food, and he hears, di ding. He thinks, oh, yeah, that's strange. So he checks his back door, because he was sitting there, and there's obviously no one there. And he goes to his front door, and he checks it, and it's still locked. Seems that's weird, I heard a, a dinging noise, okay. And he goes back into the kitchen. And after a couple more minutes, he hears, di ding And again, he thinks, what the fuck? Maybe it's, maybe it's one of the neighbors or something. So he goes to the front, and he peeks behind his curtain. And in the dead of night, he sees a half... Dear half man thing in the shadows laying on his front grass. Huge antlers curling in on themselves. And it sits there on the grass and then it tilts its head up to the sky and goes Di ding Di ding And he's oh. like he's like, what the fuck? He sees this thing, and then the thing goes I'm Ding ding, ding ding. He's fucking terrified, and he's looking out his window and he sees this thing. And then this thing leans his head back, and opens its mouth to drink the rain as it falls in. And then he goes ding ding, ding and starts hobbling its way down the street. That's a true fucking story. I see. <clears throat> that sounds like something <throat> where I would. <laughs> Story I think that thing might be me. Anyways. It's the this, this skinwalker, walker of skin, skinwalker stories, you know? Those shamans that skin. can turn into different animals and half-human hybrids. 
You know, I feel like somewhere yeah. else ding, ding, ding. in reality, someone has referred to me as a skinwalker about eight times. I could see that. <clears throat> ding, ding, ding. Uh-huh. They walk all around us, you just never know until you actually see them. And Well, I mean, you see them change. Let's see who's under this mask. <laughs> oh, a skeleton, I knew it. Dario. That's a deadly thought. <laughs> Why so How are you doing, Clifford? They deadly died. What? what? <clears throat> I'm... Hello, Mr. Clifford. You're what, sorry? Energetic. Ah. Uh... Do you know when your, father, when your uh, master will be around again? <sighs> he was this morning and he's gone off to do some work. But he should be back, like, at some point. Oh, you go talk like that. Well, let me get mine. <clears throat> Hello. You barely adopted the deck. Yeah, this thing's right. heavy. It's like two gallons. <laughs> My God, man. I'm You're an alcoholic, Severick. Right here in the corner. Reiki. Stop it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you see him, I need to talk to him. It's an emergency. Oh, let him know. It's you know, you can always, like, shout for him, right? <clears throat> I do. Matter of fact, I should... Sif! Excursionarily busy. Shriek! How you doing? Seems like he might be. I'm doing quite all right. How about yourself? I'm doing okay. I was telling I was telling Severick here about skinwalkers. Oh, did you know I'm actually one? Oh, really? <laughs> Technically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go to Ding. Mm, what? Ding. -ding. Go to Ding. Ding. Yeah, I like that. I was telling That's him a story about how a guy came home late at night for uh because of work and stuff and he has an alarm system in his house and whenever the front door opens the titting noise plays and he was sitting in his back room eating and he heard the noise titting and he went to check and his door was still closed so he went back and then he heard titting again he looked out his front window and there was a fucking uh, skin walker on his front lawn going titting i'm home titting ding <laughs> I know. Woo. Yeah. It's always fun when the it's always fun when the youngsters in the clan are looking out your window after they come over and it's dark out and they say, Oh, you have deer in your front lawn. Funny how that one's standing on their stupid. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's pretty fucking terrifying. Yeah. Fuck was that? There's a knocking at my door. <laughs> and I was not expecting that tonight. <laughs> it's a good thing I have a barrier on the stairs. Me and my 50 caliber crossbow <laughs> don't take well to trespassers. More like a 44 crossbow. A 44 like crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Another bolt loaded. Smooth, smooth bore, my. Which I accidentally. <laughs> it's it's late at night. Yeah, four yeah. ruffians <laughs> break into my house. I have a smooth bore crossbow, and I fire the first shot. Blows a golf ball size hole into the first <laughs> intruder. <laughs> Take out my hand crossbow and fire. I my hand crossbow. <laughs> it misses completely. And nails the neighbor's log. I'm, dog. I have to resort to the ballista mounted at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Tell you, <no>, lads. <laughs> Uh, loaded with pebbles. With my, with my tri tipped spear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because it's impossible to stitch. I'm in a spot waiting for the guards to arrive. <laughs> Just as the founding fathers intended. I'm made of a tri tipped spear. <laughs> I made my spear again. <laughs> good. Well, you get a spear. That's good. Oh, Here. God. <clears throat> um. 
But yeah. Oh, Sharika, I actually have something One time for you. I know, a... Oh yeah. Uh, I have two charcoal. Hey. If you want to buy it? Sure. How much? I also have. I don't know. I also have this iron dagger. If you want to use that for something. Is it good iron dagger? Have you? It's fine. It's a fine have iron you... dagger. Have any of you seen Tang as of yet? Not I recently. Will you be at all busy today? Depends on the From time. On. I'm pretty free now. Can I speak with you then, lad? Yeah. I want to go over a couple of things. Sure. I'll buy the charcoal for... 35 copper? Each or just one? Together. 35 copper? Sure. Cool. I don't know how much it's worth, and I don't Me have any neither. use for it. I can't be fucked checking. Thank you. That's 35 copper. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you about the Iron Dagger later, though, when I'm not. Uh, for the Iron Dagger, we can practice uh, sharpening. Yeah. You said you wanted to teach me knife sharpening. We could do that with that. It's odd to see you, but you company. It's nice to see you about the town, lads. I think it raises some spirits for others that are... Wait, so, angry. quick question while you're adding that to your thing. Do you you're gonna ask me things while charcoal? I'm fucking doing maths? Yes. Does it take wood to make charcoal, or does well, it is it a natural process that happens to wood in the back? It takes wood to make well. charcoal. <sighs> okay, me. good to yeah, know. Maybe then oh, you can find some time to speak, if you'd like. I don't fucking know maths. It. Fuck it, we'll just say that. <clears throat> I know that's less, but... Alright, I'm gonna go out and look around. <coughs> uh, if you see Tang, can you ask him to head this way for me? Also, I may have just got you about to uh, board down if you wanted. So, I'll bring it up when I speak with him. Shriek! Oh, I'm Shriek. I'm Oh, stay safe, Mr. Morn. Stay safe, Mr. Shriek. <laughs> you got two walking sticks. I think the other one was one I lost earlier, but, uh... <sighs> I elected to go have a little look at something, and I may have found something. That's awfully vague. So, our walking surgeon, sleepwalking surgeon. Hmm, hmm. right. I elected to follow the direction that he had found himself in. He was heading towards a rock face that is between the fields and the logging camp. Now, normally that wouldn't be much of a problem, however, when I looked closer, I've been around a long time, lad, and I'd be willing to bet my beard that there is something beneath the, that rock face. A stone has shifted seemingly from tremors from a long time ago, but the stones are facing inwards, which usually means that any existing tunnel work would have collapsed, but it also means that newer systems have opened. <clears throat> Hold Myself on. Myself and Miss Sif. Tunnels. Are we, how deep are we talking with these tunnels, do you think? I don't know yet. I haven't found the entrance. <clears throat> I spoke with Miss Sif and asked her to accompany me to have a little look as I went for a wander. I myself am not exactly fit and able at this time. Sure. I need someone to make sure I wasn't on my own, but when I looked into it, I could almost bet my beard that there was something beneath. Why is it always fun? It's one of those things that's... 
As Seth spoke of a wolf den not far from where we were. Now, it may not be there, but it may... There may be an entrance somewhere nearby. I intend to have a little bit more of a thorough look later. It's going to ask Tang to come with me and see, as well as one of my Dawe kinsmen. I'd like their opinions to ensure that I'm not just seeing things in my old age. Yeah, I'll come but with you if you want. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that there's something there. Although I don't know where the entrance is. And if I'm right, that's where he's going. Do you remember when we were down in the mines what happened to us last time? Hmm. How some of us would be dragged into the dark without remembering anything. By the same thing that yeah. haunts us now. That was my thought. Okay. I am suspicious that that may happen again to our surgeon, although he may end up even closer. I'd like to see if we can find an entrance in the event that we do have another resurgence. If he ends up anywhere near it, we'll at least know where he went. That's my thoughts. <coughs> at least. I want to double check with Tang and my Dawe counterpart. He's a miner. Yeah. Has some experience with mining, so he himself would be able to clarify the same thing that I saw. We can go find Tang if you want and take a trip. I... I said to Sif as well <coughs> that uh, she says she was going to go scout out to the wolf den that was apparently attacked by our friend. Apparently she'd attacked wolves in the past so it may not be impossible that a den is her source but I have no idea. I'm not... It's worth a familiar look. with this land. <laughs> if it's not there, it means. <clears throat> Let me uh, grab one of the. If it's not swords. there, it means it's somewhere else, which means we have to need to look. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Morden. Yes. Um, Mr. Sanders wants to talk to you. Aye, aye. As in, he, he came right as you entered the building and was quite disappointed that he, he got here as soon as you went inside. So much he punched that stone brick right there. It's alright. Let him know that I'm going to be stepping out for a <coughs> fact I'll let him know myself. It's fine. Alright. Tang. Oh, Kinsman, come with me. I love it. Keep the forge hot. Are you going out? Yeah, just going okay. for a look around. <clears throat> I'm going for a little stroll, just a morning job or afternoon job, I guess you'd call it. All right. <sighs> Hello, fresh breads. We have a few left. You're not, Ladio. I'm watching the shop in her place, sir. Can I ask you a favor, lad? Could you, yeah, let Sergeant Sanders, could you let Sergeant Sanders know that I'll be more available in the evening before nightfall? I can do that. a little bit of a jaunt outside. Now then, where is our walking metal man? <clears throat> Have you checked by the docks? Not as of yet. <clears throat> Not entirely sure what Sif is either. I think she said she was going looking for him. 
check the docks first. He's there, then that saves us a time. <sighs> Three leather straps. Oh, right. Thank you. <clears throat> Took me a second. Yep. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yep. Have you seen Tang? You're welcome. Uh, not for a little while. Sure. <clears throat> All right. Have fun. Thank you. I have a uh, question to ask of you. Oh, yeah. oh. Do you need to ask you something about oh, yes. uh, Bucci's finest beats and more. What do you think? Okay. okay. You haven't seen Tang around, have you? Ah, the metal man. Mm. The last I seen him, he was going out that gate on the other side. With the lady with the hood. All of her group. Which kind of hood? Uh, I think she was in all blue, I believe. Mm, okay. Here's a basket <coughs> full of shit. Thank you. You're no use to me. Get back to my stall. Pockets. Uh, I've only encountered one other Umgi that had desire to learn our language. Sadly enough, he was in the red and gold, so that was interesting enough. But uh, uh, I'll be happy to help you. Uh, you able to scout anything out there, lads? Tang's left the city with Venora and the others, so wherever they're off to, I don't know if we'll be able to follow. <coughs> That's fine, and we'll just go ourselves. Unless you want to bring anyone else, just in case. I don't know who else would be more... You know... Proficient in mining. Good to see you out and about. Good to see you lot. With mining? Yeah, rocks and stuff. <clears throat> Rock and stone. Thank you very much. Rock and stone, right. Right. About to go for a bit of a walk. A wonder. You're going for Something a wonder. Like do you need to... okay. Do you need protection? More. I need another set of eyes. But if you wish to come with us, by all means. You do stonework, do you? My kinsman with me here. <clears throat> well, that'll do. Mm. Come with me, and I'll show you what I found. <coughs> Alright. There's a heavy chance that Miss Sif is already looking into the thing she spoke of, so mm. what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the rock face and I'm gonna have our kinsman here. Have a little look at it himself and tell me what he thinks. It's a nice looking sword, Sharik. It's one of the leftover ones from uh the forge. Just in case I need it. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's good for maybe three swings. Basically. It. <laughs> it's the same awesome. one I was using with the orcs yesterday. Well, yesterday? Yeah. So, probably doesn't have much fight Surprise. left in it. Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't shatter. I would Hopefully, you don't have to use it. Yeah. I just. Eight out of the ten times that I leave this fucking so, city, I get attacked, so I figured, you know. <laughs> right, it's like, I figured you'd need... Uh, yeah. I can't let you die, so that's a problem. <laughs> I don't really intend to, so... No, no. But this this wandering, where to? What's the quandary? And look at rocks. You'll see when we get to <clears> the <throat> town, lad, it'd be better if I explain it there. Okay, sure. You like rocks, Sounds don't good. you, Marcus? 
I smash them bigger rocks into smaller rocks every day. Yeah, rock sure. and stones? Very good, then you can uh, attest to what we're going to find then. If you need me to survey anything, I can. Ugh. Good, because we might need it. Alright. Uh, do we have Tang? Tang could help us. He left this city a while ago. I was trying to find him, but ah. it appears he has already left. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> Let me see. Alright. With your two expertise, this should be easier for us to determine. I've seen a few rocks too in my time. <laughs> oh yes. The reason I want you to come along with us, Kyler, is in the event that we find what we're looking for. <laughs> if anyone will be able to determine what we're... If anyone will be able to determine what's inside it without the need for carrying light, that will be you. Hmm. Yeah. But I don't intend to send you down, I just want you to look. Yeah. I don't have my armor, so... I don't really want to tangle with anything. Exactly. I really don't want to tangle with anything either. Yeah. The most I have on me is my pick. That's my pick. <clears throat> well, if we get attacked by rock monsters, you'll be Which useful. Why we're not going to actually try and delve into anything. At the moment, I just want to see... If you have the same inkling as I have... Do we need to tell the gods that we're going here? Uh, one sec. Uh, it would be nice to let them know that I'm I going back to where <clears throat> I was just a moment ago. Yep. He knows. It's quite a nice little area, actually. It's quiet and away from people. Yeah. And there is evidence that there is game within the area because a lot of the undergrowth here has been flattened. Hmm. I noticed this as much as I walked past, but what really caught my eye, and you'll see it for yourself shortly. I came here with Seth earlier to check things out. Kinsman. DM on site. Hi, Longwood. I wanted to have a little look at the stone and clarify what you see. See if it pairs with what I have seen. Argus. Yes. Some of the stonework here you'll find will be softer and easier to work with. Let's test that theory, shall we? Uh, sure, <clears throat> why not? <sighs> uh, DM query for uh, biggest for this uh, this dwarf here. What is your established uh, profession, if one? He is a miner, and he's been mining for Perfect. years. He's underage. Carry on. What? You're the one with the boy's figure. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of Try people. That one. There's a lot of people going out of town today. But sure. Let's do that. He's a huge. That should be some of the surface stone that has been dislodged, if my theory is correct. Is that here? It should be soft enough. All right. What have you, Kinsman? Have a little look around the area and see if you see the same thing I see. Hmm. You know what, Morden? <clears throat> These rocks. Made of rock. 
if you look up at the rocks up near the top, lad, you can see that the rocks are actually inwards. Like they've fallen in. They are, yes, like they've been made to fall in. Tremors, as I said. It looks like they've suffered some bots. I got some samples. This is one piece. Well, that's what I'm saying, Vlad. Did you find it <clears throat> easier to break? It's a little bit easier. Let me think. Oh, uh, maple. The feel that I have, lad, is what we were discussing earlier was in this direction somewhere. If I am correct, what we're looking for is under here. Hmm. Okay. The question becomes, where's the entrance? If there is one. If it's all caved in, then there might not be one anymore. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm saying. The original cave that were down there would have fallen in, which would explain that. But, due to the softer stone and the shifting of the stones, new ones will have been made. to start a new mine for stone. Hmm. It would be a nice place for stone. We need to carve out not much of a quarry, but a good spot. And stone. Okay, so you're saying this is the definite spot, or where, where else? I had to walk along the side, but I don't Back really know what I'm keys. looking for. How do I at the moment? Sif <clears throat> said it's somewhere along in that direction, probably a far ways out. It's a wolf's den. Somewhere in that general vicinity. Hmm. That would be the first outcropping that at least she knows of. She's been here for at least six months. I was going to ask the hunters, but they're conspicuously absent, possibly out on another hunt. Problem is, because I don't know this land, I can't say for certain where it would be. There is also the other side, the logging camp. Apparently <clears throat> this is between us and that. It's oh. possible that if we don't find it on this side, it'll be on that one. It could be on top too, right? If it's all fallen in. Indeed. <clears throat> yeah, so, anywhere at this point. Yeah. But my kinsman here has agreed with me. The That's theory stands. There's some sort of network here. All the confirmation that we need, I guess. And we just need to find the entrance. And... The question becomes where? 
Do you have permission to start any kind of project like this? No. I would suggest DM clarification. Maybe... The information obtained from this location is representative of the region as a whole, the map as a whole. It is not necessarily that this specific location houses a tunnel, but that the nature of the geography here, given that they are so large scale, is very telling of the nature of this of this local region's geography, and how it formed, therefore, what lies underneath. <clears throat> did a little bit of history, uh, history of geography study at one point. Also, Kyler, you got a 19 examining these rocks. I have information for you. And these rocks are made of rock. If I may, Longbeard. Uh, though we might not have the promise to start a stone... Kyler, well, you don't know much about stone. Specifically, that was always Tang's thing. You do understand structures and structural stability. A lot of that came from your experiences in the past, the sort of work you had to do, the sort of work you involved yourselves in, heists and the like. You often had to evaluate a location before you pulled a job. And you picked up a thing or two. How to evaluate. These stones, while you don't know much about the stones themselves, look... The best word is somewhat precarious. If they're going to do any digging, your gut tells you that this specific location would actually be really dangerous to dig under. Hey, you're not planning on, like, <clears throat> digging a tunnel here or anything, right? That's not my intent. They were considering a... They were considering a quarry, but I'm not really worried about that. My theory stands, however, that there is something beneath here. Not... Perhaps not this location itself. But there are caverns somewhere here. More than likely many. Great. This is the first direction that we found. It could be further out, or it could be here, but... Hey, you guys don't want to start digging or anything. No, no, we're just getting a sample. Alright, just be careful, like, don't like how this looks. DM now, the two of you together. Um, the dwarf is considered the, um occupational individual in this case. Yep. Um, Marcus, you are considered kind of assisting. <clears throat> you will be able to retrieve one, un one unit of usable stone, indicating to you, for RP purposes, that, s that there is a location close to town which can provide variable stone. No other resources <clears throat> are in here, but for occupations that can obtain stone unit. This is a suitable and <coughs> safe location. Well, at least we confirmed your theory. There's probably a bunch of caves around here. Now we just need to find an entrance. Okay. <coughs> that raises the question. Well, that's the thing, the caves should be fine. Why was someone walking here though? Exactly. See what you can gleam with that. By walking in this direction. I would continue as the crow flies that way beyond this. If the cave entrance isn't on this side, it might be somewhere behind it. Mm. Oh. This would be where I would be hiring the huntsmen if they were here to go and have a look. We have our core sample, Hello. so uh, the Dowie here can inspect it, and you should be able to find <coughs> a good place to mine from that alone. Aye. Very good. Well, if we can find a suitable place, then by all means, this take that back. If we do, it should look. be somewhere in town. It should be. At least we'd have an alternative. At the very least. It'd be better than using these as the young lad that is saying that yeah. I'm not sure we should be touching these particular ones. But. Yeah, okay. That brings up an interesting point. <clears throat> well, better head back before anything horrible happens. Jeez. I really hate it when I'm right with certain judgments. I really do. <laughs> yes. Uh... Hmm. 
I'm concerned, lad. Mm, me too. <clears throat> Maybe it's just my old age. Maybe I'll consider it that. Let us not bring that <laughs> curse upon us. Sure. You know, that walking stick makes you look pretty distinguished. I'll be honest. <laughs> you know, if you wanted to... I'll it down um, and make something a bit more permanent. I could have Margot carve out uh, an owl at the top. Ooh. You know? Or a, or a raven or something distinguished, you know? <laughs> I don't know about any flying bird, lad. I'm more of a dowie that stays on the ground. <clears throat> like an armadillo. Well, if you had to pick an mouse. animal to suit the top of a walking cane, what would it be? Crocodile. Good question. Hmm. It may sound silly, but uh, a lot of dwarven culture likes to use goat. Rams, bulls of the sort. Oh. Mainly because they're mountainous creatures. What if you made like a, 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 a bull's region, head but, um... and with like a, a, a ring around his nose, but the ring was loose so you could like wobble it? That'd be kind of cool for a walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I have like a keychain. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, you could put your keys yeah, on it. I see. I think we should get back home. Yeah. Excuse Hello. Me? Don't worry, just four people coming out of the brush. Yeah. Happens. Uh -huh. Is there something you need? Hmm. I just have a weird habit of appearing where I am. from you for now. I want to have a little chat with Kyla before we... Sorry, not Kyla. Sorry, excuse me. Um, before we head back. I'll take the sample in and investigate it a little bit more. If you would, not lad. Thank you. I wanted to bring more people in so that I'd get other thoughts than just my paranoid mind. I think but... paranoia is important at this point in time. Well, at the very least, we've, conser we've confirmed something. And if I were to hazard a guess, that's where he's headed. Yeah, it does correlate. He's been down in mines before and caves seem to keep popping up with this thing, so I would agree on that. I'm still trying to figure out how that thing followed us here. Why it waited so long. Well, it definitely came through the portal after us, but then after that, it would have had to have gotten all the way through Von Folder, all of the underroads. <clears throat> it would have had to have gone through the deep roads with us. Yeah. There are other things down there that would prey upon anything that's not of their own elk. Unless it found another way. I suppose it's not impossible for it to follow us, but if it is, yeah, another way, that would explain why it took so long to suddenly start appearing, because it was traveling. <clears throat> it was making its way over here, unless it was receiving instruction or something to actually make its way over here, considering the discussion insinuated it has intelligence, mm. independence. Yes, which is 
raises questions too. What are you? I'm beginning to think that it might be worth investigating the nearby places. Maybe you would have Tang nearby as well. In any caves that we find, we should investigate. As much as I hate there that idea, I it agree it's seeing. probably smart. If we were to go from the direction, he was that way, the corner there facing that way. Mm. That at least gives us an idea of where to go. Right. Top corner <clears throat> facing in the direction we went. If we follow that particular idea, we might find something, and I don't want to, but we might. I don't think I'll be of much use investigating such things, but I'll see what we can do. I would love to send the hunters out, but they're not here. Mm. We can always wait. I don't think it's that pressing. And if he ends up sleepwalking again tonight, <clears throat> anyone who's watching him can follow him directly to it anyway. So, either way. What I'm thinking might be what we have to do. I am really concerned that that's going to happen, lad. If this is only the last three days, then these episodes of his are probably going to get worse. Yeah. I had suggested letting Tang be the one to follow him, for he's the only one that doesn't need sleep, but the problem becomes that, from what I've heard from the others, even he gets ragdolled by this thing, which is incredibly worrying. Anyone that goes with him that night has to be prepared, because they might not come back. Unless it wants us to see like it did before. Well, it might not At which point be it's even more worrying. The thing that's forcing him to do this. If he hasn't heard the, the that's voice. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not talking about the voice. I'm talking about her. Your blood, her archways. It might need him to open an archway that is here. Because it can't. It could just pick him up, though. Or take his blood. Or... Uh, no <clears throat> one has ever seen him be touched by this thing. Maybe it can't touch him. Hmm. Which is one of the things I wanted to suggest. The blood that they've been mixing... Have they tried mixing it with someone who's already infected? I did have a theory, actually. It might be worth a look, at the very least. I was thinking... Because if that thing can't touch him... If Soma's blood is the last thing that we need to make the elixir to cure this thing... That would be why she doesn't want us to have it. That would be why she can't touch him. That would be why it's so important to her. It's certainly possible. That would be why she doesn't want us to know, it's... because she's worried that we would drain him for it. Because it's so important to us. A lot of things are starting to line up and my paranoia is going off again, but... It might be worth asking our friend Soma to... Have one of us cut ourselves and have him attempt to see what happens when his blood mixes. Bear in mind, he said that the blood that he was given and shown was clear. Red. Bright red. Ours isn't. <clears throat> yeah. If ours is the same, then you think that his would something may happen. 
I think that his would have an effect, but what, I don't know. I talk about it with It's Laura. the one thing I asked. She seems to be heading the research of this. If I can find her. Yeah, she headed off with Tang and stuff, so she's probably uh, somewhere where we can't go. Gathering, probably. I'll see what I can do if I can find her. Ask her for her assistance. This That's a good theory to work on. Might point us in the right direction. Right. And if we can, if Sif continues to look into things. I don't want any of us trying to delve somewhere we're not wanted, so the first thing to do would be to find anything that's nearby and go from there. I'll look into some of the old records, see if I can't see if there was any record of it. Any of any indication of anything of the sort. Perhaps I'll find something that others have missed. Sounds good. I'm gonna return back to work. You know where I am if you need me. I I'm going to go speak with the Imperial Sergeant who wants to have a word with me before he te tears his hair out. Probably wouldn't mind seeing that, but Try to be cordial, he least. tried to preach some bullshit to me last and... night about how he just wants people to get along and he doesn't know why people are fighting and he just wants to he just wants to let everyone under like live until the next day I told him I'm not threatening the Imperium's next day they're threatening mine that was the last of that anyway have a good chat <laughs> um. Uh, I will try. Well, you're the one with the extra letter in front of your your title anyway, you know. N P C. Go ahead. What? By all means. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> oh, nothing. Me. Nothing. Don't worry about oh, it. Just, Go ahead. You just walked By through shit as alley. Kyler, you right, see uh, around the awning uh, that they are standing under that there is a very noticeable kind of white outline where it seems like there is an exorbitant just... amount of bird shit that has been shat right upon this area for fuck? some reason. It's fucked up, Marcus. Just gonna stand under here. Yeah. Oh. You keep that hat on your head. This is a good thing. Always leave a the brief house. pattering and smattering sounds like rain on the awning above as you see, Cooper, a white viscous stain appear right on the front of your clothing. You know what it is. No, ma'am. I have never had the chance to be honest with you. You're in shit as alley now, boyo. I don't know. I'm already cleaning up the rocks. I'm not cleaning up the shit. Well, uh, believe it or not, uh, I was born to a noble family. Uh, that noble family was subsequently uh, indicted for something that they didn't do. Subsequently, I have been banished and outcast all across Gradia, and I'm using a fake name to give back to my homestead. Dude, so relatable. Since why you have a fake name? <laughs> I'm joking. No, I ran into some bad people a couple years ago. That's why I use a fake name. Dirty. No. Born to a simple farming family up north. Orcs attacked our village. We ran south. Spent a few years jumping between the town.
Kyler, as you walk through the street, going back and forth, you your mind drifts back to something you heard earlier today about something involving thieves or break-ins or some kind of rash of such. You kind of smile to yourself, remembering your days in training, picking your first locks and learning all the little mechanisms and gears to flick therein. You know one thing with your time with locks, and that is the following, that unless it is incredibly well made, that every lock is only a matter of time. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the false security that people live under. You find me bear, you bring me bear meat compensation. All right, I'll see if I can bring you bear meat, Pepe. If it was good, it would be fine with me. The Hello, eggplant. <laughs> Say the line. As it is what line? Made. Say the line. I tend to ignore it, though. Come, come. God, I sure am hungry. You want what line? Yeah, if only there was someone selling food nearby. I would... Yeah, there's a uh, bread lady. She right there. Let me ask you a question. Sure. What I'm going to turn you into a salami. Would you be uh, willing to help uh, test someone? He's no salami. He's only salami. Test. Test what? Martial experience. What a day. I don't have a weapon I'm trained with, but sure. Hmm. Okay. That guy, think you could beat him? Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Would you prefer the weapon? What? Would you prefer to use a weapon? I mean, obviously not killing anybody, but yeah. Either way, I don't have a weapon I'm trained with. CD. CD, that's what. What, you want to fight him? No. No, I'm just saying he's... Well, he's more my size, to be honest, but he's more CD. Like, I... I uh, the moment I heard that pitta patta pitta patta yeah. I, I, I reach for my coin purse, which I don't have on me. All, I all I'm hearing from is, is that you don't want to fight any of the people I suggest you fight. So, are you okay, look, look. to protect my if camera, or one? Maybe. I mean, that doesn't look like much. And I'm a troll rider. <laughs> I... I'm not a fighter. Well, I'm like famous. Let me troll see. You're not a fighter. Yes, okay, do you call yourself a troll rider because of the sash that you wear? Uh, I... Uh, maybe? Well, if you're willing to give it a try. Uh, well, this fabric is very shoppy. It does not pits, look like you've been taking the, care of yeah. it. For one well, thing, well, the armor looks like it's it falling yeah. apart. Yes, I stole it. If you mm. want. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to watch, see what happens. You stole it. I took, I took it off a to corpse. If you need it. Not even this fits me. Oh yeah, I could use some wood, certainly. I'm a master, I oh, never said my job was good, you but I am place. respected and renowned in Karakadis as mm. Louis sure. Manua. Louis. So your name is Louis Why Shit. Why is your last a name shit? shit? What? Huh? Manua means shit. No, man Manua. Okay. Man. <laughs> Noah. Noah. Ah, uh, Noah. You're saying manure. You're saying manure. Yeah, you, a lot yeah. of people. A lot of. <laughs> a lot of people are hearing manure, which is shit. Do you want to fight? You might want to fight. Who's this idiot? Louis Mua. No. Why not? Louis Mua. Now I want Moment to fight I you. Born. I think it fits me perfectly. Louis Mua. Louis Mua. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they're just I'm racing. Oh, it's fine. I need to God, we're up. so traumatized. Yeah, I am. I can't buy that one. Maybe that one. They're not worth <laughs> But as a troll rider, having my <laughs> reputation tarnished by this woman? 
A woman who knows. Who's a man when she sees one? Hmm? Hey, Sarah. Oh, a uh, man. Hmm? Well, uh, well. Well, Tomorrow I, or the I day after you want to help me exterminating yes, some are. wolves, they had the audacity to attack me. man who knows what he wants, right? Always, and all I want to do is... Only if they have a baby, I get to take it. Um, then why I'm not you doing this to again. I don't know if they have a baby, but they have a den, so there's a good chance. Can it be this drow bitch? Yeah. The if not, I'll just whittle their numbers yeah, down day by day. First off, that's that entirely one uncalled nice for. Don't want to ruin that one. But the one here, with the flat one. Wow. Okay. Right. Uh, right. Who are you calling you flat? An instant. What? You call in these yeah, type insulting nice people. Ass. I thought that so. What? It's like these, but these. Is eh? this even hooked on here? Second, what yeah. is that for? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? You've been, you've been disarmed already. I'll fight him. Well, I wasn't expecting you to grab it. I thought you were supposed that to be how... nicer on me. It, it's your... She's going to take out like, a silver ring. ring. If, if you you control, control, right? I need a job. Yeah. Oh. I just need a job. That's it. Yeah. For a couple days. He's trying to get me hired. But he's only... I'll give you a job. She's gonna take out another silver what? ring that has like a bit huh? of sea glass on it. I take see. I, I, I might have blown. I might have blown Dredge's I... mind. If he's freaking out, then it's my it fault, is... and I'm sorry. I understood. We'll mm. blame you. I've... It's, Could you it's, it's... for a moment, just... Ah, it's, it's a little. <laughs> what? It's a little hot. <laughs> oh, it's nothing good, really hot, actually. So I can't help you, man. <sighs> Can this troll help you at all? Uh, I'll fight you, Mr. You troll. Like my rings. <laughs> oh, oh yes, they're they're very nice. Oh, where'd you get them? Look how they shine in the light. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're still around. How's it going? <coughs> Why how dare you? you? Oh. <laughs> Why are they slapping each other? How did you do that? Teach me your ways. This troll rider could learn much it's from you. It's a Don't worry I'm about number it. seven. Forget him. Okay. Forget Mr. Okay. Grabam. I serve you. Wow. Okay. okay. And I gave you a meal and everything. Oh, uh, okay. No, no. Okay. I, maybe, maybe, maybe I can. Uh, who am I fighting? Mr. Here. Grabam. I, like I said, I'm not easily bought. I deserve that. Ah. I see it. I'm a bitch again. I will do more than just backhand you in front of all of these people. They're do you understand me? Oh, that would kill that troll. It would be very right bad to do that to a troll I did from Kalkadish. I bet. You know, they look terrible. Another one that was a smaller one of that one. So the so so troll rider. Do you mean like riding, or do you mean like? Oh my god, riding. Yeah, riding. There's a very, there's a much bigger one. Did you fuck a troll? <laughs> Mr. Gubbum, who am I fighting? That's crazy. That's what the sound is like. I don't know. It's, it looks like you're losing to two people at once. <laughs> but that's why he's dressed like that. <laughs> you're not going to get any value out of that. Yes, they are. You'll probably find it. Then I carry one. Why do you think I was saying tell him to pick up his shirt? Maybe he can uh, attract I'm not more taking of the earnings over. Here. Hmm. <laughs> troll rider. Uh, I hope Miss Lottie is mm. right. How much can Troll rider, everybody. <laughs> he rode a troll. Yo, you want to pay me? Good luck. I know, I'm getting to that point, time. yes. <laughs> no, I'll do it if he wants to actually <laughs> take up the huh? challenge, but he just seems hmm? to be avoiding the question. You're a troll rider, is not what you uh, do. I know, he seems to be dodging you. It's kind mm. of funny. Y yes. Don't Ms. fight Basil. him. It's not worth it. Trolls. I think it'll be kind of funny. You probably like it. Probably... Hmm. Bringing well, troll riders there. What are we mm. talking about? You're getting more employees? <laughs> I'm trying. You're going to fight him. I'm I'm trying, fight. isn't he? An... Oh, he's going to don't actually fight him. Oh, I get mm. to prove myself, finally. Oh, what are we doing? We're doing <laughs> the uh, 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 style, uh, glaive style. Oh, did you hear that? Uh, Let me get my sword. The pins. Huh? They would pay a couple of copper <laughs> for you. Uh, no, no, I, I don't do the, the thing. Oh, no, no. No, thank you.
you have three of whichever. <laughs> or however you want it to split it. I can get those. Oh, hello, no, Shriek. Just so you know. Oh. Just saying. Alright. Yeah, I'll just I'll take three of the fats. That oh, works. Okay, bye, Shriek. Oh. That? That's a big fucking sword. Um... Someone else. Don't do start that right now. I'm do not start that. Gonna, <laughs> sure. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, guys, I'm not. I am the little man. Do the thing. Oh, that is a big blade for such a small one. I doubt you yeah. even. <laughs> He's seen so it before. Can we keep fine, him? But you know, oh, uh, have you? Do you not know? <laughs> you dropped you your know sword. The champion no dread. You keep Severick under the table. I should get one too. You have a cat. You know the champion Dredge, the big strong yeah. arena champion Dredge. He's fought right. him and survived. He died. Anyway, <laughs> so I have six wood about. for... Are we doing this? Oh, eight gold for eight gold. And that's eight gold. So you want to go for eight gold. That's a cool trick though. Look, Excuse that, me, that is gold. such a wonderful <laughs> request. You change your mind? So big and strong too. No, Look at these light light muscles. I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine going against this. You are such a big and strong throne. No? <laughs> oh, why, dear? I'm sorry. It's